Hello, welcome children to this math class of class 6. Today we will be doing exercise 9.2 percentage chapter that is page 141. Today we will be solving those problems which are in the book. I won't be solving all but I will try my best to solve how much I can. Let's start with question number 1. Question number 1 reads like this. A student scored 45 marks out of 60 in science. That is science. He scored 45 out of 60. Then again scored 56 out of 80 in match. 56 out of 80. The question what is required is in which subject did he perform better? Let us see for science percentage he scored 45 out of 60. When is percentage we multiply with 100 strike of the knot, strike of the knot, we cut with 2, 5 to 10, 2, 3 to 6, then we take 3, 3, 1 to 3, then 3, 5, 15, 5, so if you multiply, you will get it to be 75 percent, that is for science, then we go for match, Percentage. He scored 56 out of 80. Again, we'll multiply with 100 because we have to make a percentage. Strike of the knot. Then we'll go with 2, 5. Then 4. Then again, we will cut with 2, which is 28. Again, we cut with 2. 14. What we get is 14 into 5, which is 14 fives are 70 percent. Now, we are supposed to compare between science and maths. So, which is more lot? He did better in science. Therefore, the question says, in which subject did he perform better? He performed. better in science. Why? Because science is 75 percent. Now we go to the second question. The question reads like this. Question 2. A box contains 300 sweets. Sweets is 300. Then he distributed 126. Distributed 126 to the children. What percentage of the sweet is left? Now the sweet left is this to your minus, you will get it 4, then it will go 7, 174 is the sweet left. So if you subtract the number of sweets in total and distributed ones, you will see this much is left. So we are asked to find percentage of left, percentage of left is what is the left? 174 divided by total 300 into 100. Strike it off, strike it off, 0, 0. Then we see we divide or we multiply with 3. Does it go with 3? 3, 5 is 15. That is uh, 2 in 17 minus 15 is 2 and 4 is 24. 3, 8 is 24. So our answer is 58% is left. 
So this is your answer. So we have solved question number two. I'll be skipping question three. Let's go to question four. Try doing question three at home. Question four reads, in the sixth standard of a school, 55% of the students are boys. Boys equal to 55%. If there are girls, are 144 in number. Says, how many boys are there? We are asked to find number of boys. Let us find the percentage of girls. Is percentage means 100, the minus percentage of boys, boys percentage, which is 100 minus 55, which is 45 percent. So, the girls is 45 percent. We don't know the total number of the children. Let total student be x. Thereby, we know that what is remaining of girls is this much. So, according to the question, 45 percent of total, that is x is girls. That is the number of girls. So, we write 45 by 100 x equal to 144. We can cross multiply these two. 45 x equal to 144 into 100. Thereby, we take x as 144 into 100 divided by 45. Let us cut with 5, 20 and with 5, 9. Let's cut with 3. 3, 3, 3, 4 is 12, 3, 8 is 24. Let's further cut. With three, one the three, and three six the eighteen. Thereby x equal to sixteen into two is thirty two, and one zero. That means there are how many boys are there? That means there are total three hundred and twenty. So. Now we find number of boys. Therefore, number of boys equal to 320 minus the number of girls, 144. Okay? Thereby, I'll rub it. Let us keep it on the side again. The number of, I'll take it here, number of boys equal to 320 the total minus 144. We get it 6, so we get it 7, yeah, this is how we say. This is the number of boys, 176 boys. This is question number four. There is another way to do also. You can follow that method also if you wish, but this is the easy method. Now we'll go to question number six. Question number six. In question number six, in a foyer of 400 students, 
15% remain absent. Question number six. Please read your question. Total student is 400. Then what remain absent on a rainy day? Absent is 15%. Therefore, let us find number of absent equal to 15% of 400. Let us see the value 15 by 100 into 400. You cut off all the knots 15 for the 60. That means 60 are absent. So, how many are present then? Therefore, number of present equal to the total is 400 out of 400 60 are absent therefore number of absent is 340 are present so 340 are present now we are asked to find out of those 34 students did not do homework that means no no homework let us say from the present is 34 we are asked to find percentage of children present did not do their homework so let us find percentage of children no i mean with no homework homework is the number of who didn't do divided by the total number of present into 100. Strike 1, 0, strike 34 and 34 take a common. What remain is 10 percent. 10 percent of the children did not do their homework. So, this is what we got. 10 percent children did not do their homework. This is question number 6. Now we'll move further to question number seven. Question number seven. Question number seven. In question seven, to make a draft of three fifty rupees three fifty three thousand five hundred draft. Yeah. If bank commission, let us write bank's commission. Equal to 3%. What is the total amount to be paid? Since the commission is 3%, let us find bank's commission. equal to 3% of this amount. So, we cut off strike of this knot. So, 35 trees are you will get it to be 105 rupees 105. So, the question what is required is what is the total amount to be paid? Therefore, total amount to be paid equal to the total money which is rupees 3500 plus 105 this commission. So, you add them you will get it to be 5, then you will get it to be 6, 3, 6, 0, 5. Please write rupees.
I'm sure. So this is the total amount to be paid. First we take the commission out, out of which the draft amount and the commission you plus that is the total amount to be paid. Now we will do question number 9. In question number 9, the population of a village is 54,000. Question 9, the total population. is 54,000 okay then 5 by 9 of them are males let us see males is 5 by 9 of 5400 zero, zero. so we have to do 5 into 54000 zero, zero, zero divided by 9, 9, 6, not, 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 6, 5, da, 5, 6, da, 30, so 30,000 males, in that village there are 30,000 males, now 60 percent of the males are married, it says married, married males equal to 60 percent number of married males married males is 60 percent of total males total that is 60 percent of males the males are 30,000 60 into 30,000 divided by 100. So, 2, 1, 2, 6, 3 is 18, 1, 2, 3, 18,000 are married. This is, I think, our answer, required answer. So, in that village, 18,000 males are married. Now, we will be doing question 10. Question 10. Nera spent 94 percent of his monthly income. Question 10. Spent his 94 percent of income. He saves, let us write, saves rupees 2400 per month. What is his monthly income? Now, let us see, percentage mean 100. Out of 100, he spent 94. Therefore, we let us write save percent. Percent is 100 minus 94, which is 6 percent only he saved. So, according to the question, when he saves 6 percent, he have this much. We do not know the total. Let x be the total income. Thereby, 6 percent of the total income x equal to 2400, rupees 2400. Now, just simplify it. Okay, now we cross multiply 6x equal to 2400 into 100. 
thereby keep on the x on the left this will go to the right will become divide 6400 into 100 divided by 6 6 hama is 24 6 4 is 24 thereby x equal to the total income rupees x will be now 4 1 the 4 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 which is rupees 40,000 thereby we see that his monthly income is rupees 40,000 that's question number 10 now we'll go and do question number 12 Question 12. Bhavesh scored 70 percent English. So, English 70 percent of 250. Let's do it. Then, science. Sixty four per cent of one fifty. Then we have maths. I'll be showing the maths here. Is eighty three, sorry, eighty five per cent of two hundred seventy. 64 and 85 percent. What is his total score? So let us find does what they really got. 70 divided by 100 into 250. Strike the knot, strike the knot, strike the knot, strike the knot. So here 7 fives are 35, 14, 15, 16, 17. 175 he scored in English. In science, how much he scored? 64 by 100 into 150. Strike of the knot, knot, take it by 2 by 3 to 32. So, how much this is scored? 3 to the 6, 96 marks in science. 96 mark in science, then in maths, show 170 marks in maths. So, there are question what is asked in A is what is his total score? Total score equal to English plus science plus maths mark please plus them 174 plus 96 plus 170 you will get it to be 175 you will get it to be 441 you get 441. Now, find the total percentage of marks. So, in order to find the total percentage, we have to note the total marks of all the subject. So, total marks. Total marks mean full marks is 250 plus 150 plus 200 right so I think it's 600 check yeah 600 so is a total mark now in order to find B find the total percentage mark so we have to find total percentage equal to total score 
divided by total full mark full mark into 100 okay now due to time sp uh, due to space we'll we'll just wrap the upper portion i hope you have copied this portion already i will solve this portion somewhere here so the percentage i'll make equal to total score is 4 4 1 by 600 into 100 just try it off can we cut it by 3 let's check we can cut it 3 2 and 3 1 the 3 3 4 the 12 3 7 so we get 147 divided by 2 7 the 14 7 comes down 3 is a 6 1 keep a decimal just make 5 10 so your final answer is 73.5 percent so the mark he scored is 73.5 percent is the required answer now we will further go to question 14 please copy we'll go to question 14 question 14 please read your question slowly and understand a woman waits Question 14. Woman weight is 75 kg. Right. After a crash diet, she lost 3 kg. What is the loss? Weight is 3 kg. What is the percentage of weight loss? Percentage of weight or loss weight loss weight is what is the loss 3 what is the total 75 into 100 because we are making percentage now we know 25 4 is 100 25 3 is 75 3 3 so the weight loss is 4 percent that woman loss four percent weight that is our required answer let's do question 16 also question 16 Arman Ernst he earns it is his total money rupees 25 thousand he spends 92 spends 90 92 percent how much does he save we are asked to find how much he save Earlier we have done one math similar with it. So save percent. Save percent equal to hundred minus ninety-two. Equal to eight percent he saved. So let us find the let sorry no eight percent is safe. So let us find the safe amount. Safe amount. 
equal to 8 percent of his income earning 25,000 you can put rupees that is 8 divided by 100 into 25 cut the 2 0 so let us see 0 8 5 is a 40 4 in hand 16 20 he saved rupees 2000 every month so this is our required answer so Arman save rupees 2000 every month now let us do question 18 question number 18 in question 18 it reads like this a tank can hold 140 liter a tank can hold that means 140 liter at present it is 35 percent full present equal to 35 percent so how much is 35 percent 35 percent of 140 how much water is there in the tank so 35 into 140 divided by 100 so 7 5 5 7 ja. 35 7 7 ja, 49 liter so in that tank at present there is 49 liter if 28 liters of water is added so added let us write added how much 28 liter in the beginning how much we have 49 now how much is added 28 therefore total water after added equal to the previous one 49 plus the added one 28 7 and 7 77 liter now it says what percent of tank will be full we have to find the percentage of this so percent of tank full equal to the present liter 77 divided by the total capacity into 100 take it we do it by 5 to 5 to 7 7 11 11 into 5 is 55 percent so after addition of 28 liter the percentage increased from 35 to 55 for the last i'll be doing with you question number 21 question number 21 The question reads like this on increasing a number by 12 percent it becomes 575 find the original number so question 21 on increasing a number by 15 percent increase becomes 575 it says find the original number let 
original number b x where from it increase it increase from x according to the question first we have got x then how much percent increase 15 percent 15 percent of what of this x after increase 15 percent it becomes how much 575 i repeat the original number we don't know we think and assume it to be as x so how much increase 15 percent of this x so let us solve it x plus 15 by 100 x equal to 575 find the lcm of this this two will be one so hundred so hundred x plus 100 into 100 divided by 100 is 1, so it will be 15x. Now we find the sum of these two 115x by 100 equal to 575. Now let us try to find the value of x, which is the original one. Cross multiply 115x equal to 575 into 100 thereby you can cut it you will see let me try solving it here so that it's convenient so we'll find x by cross multiplication 115 100 into sorry 575 into 100 we know that by 5 20 by 5 23 if you try dividing these two you can try you see 23 i'm just showing you for your rough 23 by 5 75 if you do 23 to the 46 1 1 5 so 25 5 the you see 3 5 is a 15, 1 in hand, uh, 2 5 is a 10, 11. Therefore, it comes 25. So 23, 25 is 575. Therefore, x equal to 25 into 2, 50, and 10, 500. This is our required answer. So children, thus far we have completed this exercise. 9.2 in case you have any problem with all the maths that I skip you can contact the school and I will try to help you out solving them thank you for hearing me